After realizing that I was a simp side character, I gave up. I participated in a variety show with my seven-year-old stepdaughter. Other fathers make nutritious meals for their children, spoiling them and being capable of anything. I play games until midnight and then sleep until late in the afternoon. Well, not exactly sleep, I was woken up twice by my stepdaughter. Once when she had made breakfast, and once when she had made lunch. She woke me up to have breakfast and lunch. And then, our father-daughter duo became incredibly popular. Internet users commented, The child is breaking her heart to take care of her unreasonable old father. Ha ha ha. I'm not going to eat your snacks or drink your milk. Stop bothering me. The little girl, as delicate as a doll, grumbled impatiently making my headache. The snacks and milk in my hand were swept onto the floor by the little one. After the pain, my mind suddenly became unusually clear. A lot of sealed memories came flooding back. I suddenly realized that I was the simp side character in the novel. This side character used every means to marry Willow, the female CEO who already had a daughter. Less than half a year after our marriage, Willow and the male main character Makoto fell in love with each other. Both felt that they were each other's true love, and Willow proposed divorce to me. My stepdaughter Leela helped them, and they ended up as a happy family of three. As for me, the simp side character, out of love turned to hatred, bothered the female main character, framed the male main character, mistreated the little stepdaughter, and finally died miserably. After knowing all this plot, I felt terrible. I wished I could get a divorce right then and there, and stay away from the female and male main characters, and my stepdaughter, but after the wedding, Willow went abroad for a work trip and has not returned. Before I was awakened, in order to develop a father-daughter relationship with Leela, I even signed a contract with her for a variety show. Now Leela and I are already in the program group. Breaking the contract entails a penalty. To take my money is no better than taking my life. I decided to slack off until the recording was over. The one who was just impatiently yelling at me and swiping the snacks and milk I handed over onto the floor was Leela. The little girl looks just like a fairy, with eyes like black round grapes, long eyelashes, and creamy, bouncy skin. A good quality pink dress makes her cute and soft, but her temper is as bad as her mother's. But Leela was able to participate in the variety show with me because I asked her mother for it. I said I wanted to foster a father-daughter relationship with Leela. Willow married me just to be a hands-off mother, so when she saw me proactively asking to take care of the child, she used her maternal pressure to get Leela to agree. So along the way, Leela has been cold to me, but I've been pulling my old face about asking her about and caring for everything, handing up water, handing up snacks, as solicitous as an old servant. But the effort to cultivate a father-daughter relationship is from the me before I was awakened. I'm enlightened now just thinking about how this little girl is like an iceberg in front of me. But behind the male lead Makoto, she becomes a cute little girl, well-behaved, obedient, and sweet. No matter if she is my blood daughter, I am not in the mood to serve again. Oh, you said no. I won't bother you anymore. I smoothly collected all the snacks on the floor into the snack bag. I purposely took out her favorite lime-flavored potato chips from the bag and started crunching them. There is no difficult thing in the world if you're willing to give up. Leela hummed lightly, as if she didn't believe it at all. Before I was awakened, I was a silly simp in love. After signing for Willow's entertainment company with a pretty bow face bestowed by heaven, I was all about hanging around her and not taking my job seriously. Several times, I ditched work from the set in hopes of running into her coincidentally. I had a lot of trouble in the circle. I was scolded miserably by netizens. Now that I show up, the live room is full of curses at me. Damn, this simp really came. Go to hell. How disgusting to be in the same frame with my Makoto. Does he deserve it? Have you seen the cute Leela next to him? This man is eager to be someone's stepfather. It is said that this little cutie has a very powerful background. As for how this pretty bow got into a position, hehe. <laughs> Those who understand will understand, with this tear down, coupled with my various solicitations to Leela along the way. The comment section scolded me for being a shameless toe, a simp, etc. And because Leela has been ignoring me from the beginning, the only time she paid attention to me was when she was angry. Netizens praised her as sensibly aware of the world, 
I sighed in my heart. Couldn't these people see that I had already made amends and started anew? I took a box of milk, tore off the straw, and stuffed it in hard. Leela turned to look at me. Her little mouth sneered disdainfully. A look of no matter how much you brown nose, I won't drink the milk you give me. After I got the straw in, I didn't ask her anything and started drinking myself. The little girl's delicate face froze, she must have thought I would. Like before. Eagerly offer her the milk to drink in an effort to portray a loving father in front of her. After all, ever since I met her, I'd been like the simp that netizens criticize, never stopping in pleasing her and her mother, who would have thought. This time, I drank it myself. Netizens stop being passive. Heck, does this guy have a serious illness or something? Is he playing hard to get? Even using strategies towards a seven year old child, aren't you thinking too much? We arrived at the recording site, a secluded rural resort. A three-story building where the guests live, other guests haven't arrived yet. Leela and I each sat on a sofa, she played with her dolls, I played with my phone. The action of eating snacks didn't stop, I didn't have breakfast because I had been around Leela before we set off. Now I finished eating the chips, and started on chicken feet. After finishing the chicken feet, I ate cookies, dried fruits, pistachios and so on were all arranged. Leela sneaked a few glances at me, her little face getting noticeably darker. When I picked up the straw and poked open her favorite, the only bottle of yogurt in the bag, she couldn't remain calm anymore. She suddenly stood up. What will I eat after you've eaten everything? It's over. Leela has been tricked. This pretty bum must be dying of gloat. He will definitely give her all the snacks now. And Leela will naturally have a good impression of him. Sighed. I'm so disappointed. Leela didn't do anything wrong. Okay. It's this damn pretty boy who is too poisonous. Tempting a seven-year-old baby like this. Who can stand it. Even I. A 19-year-old baby can't stand it. I inserted the straw into the yogurt and said to Leela. You said it. You don't eat my stuff. Leela's little face turned red lifting her fair and tender little chin. But I want it now. Give me the yogurt. Too late. Leela. You're an adult. I'm a child. Can't you give me the yogurt? Why should I give it to you when we're all humans for the first time? Leela's little face turned redder, but her damn child's pride wouldn't let her give in, and she blurted out, But I'm your daughter. You said that. You'll treat me as your blood daughter. Oh, that was before. Now after marrying your mom, I found out that we don't actually get along, she doesn't like me, so, I'm preparing to divorce her, you'll soon not be my daughter anymore. After I finished speaking, I bit the straw and began to gulp down the yogurt. Leela, you said it, you can't go back on your word, I'll call my mom right now and tell her you want a divorce. She even looked at me with provocative little eyes. Children nowadays are too smart, very mature. She had seen too many times how humble I was in front of her mother. One time, in order to see her mother, I even foolishly threatened suicide, so even a child like her knows how desperately I love her mother. Now that I say I want to divorce her mother, Leela thinks I'm just trying to scare her. I swallowed the yogurt and nodded like a pecking chicken. Yeah, 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 call her. Leela, who never expected me to answer so quickly. The barrage area also fell into a rare silence. A good while later, a message popped up in the barrage. It seems that the pretty boy is not using hard-to-get tactics, nor is he lying about a divorce. Talking about divorce on the show, is he serious? Is he willing to let go of the high-profile marriage that he shamelessly pursued? Could it be that he's finally going to dump the water in his brain? But isn't it too much to talk about divorce in front of a child? What's so big about it? He's just a stepfather. And besides, Leela doesn't like him at all. Leela would be more than happy if he proposed a divorce. Anyway, I just can't stand him. Footsteps sounded outside the small building. The live chat exploded, but none of them were about me and Leela anymore. Now the whole screen is crazy about Makoto. Ah, the male god is here. The male god is so handsome. I want to swing on his nose. Finally, I have been waiting for my male god. Woo hoo hoo. So handsome. So handsome, so handsome. Makoto, who looked fair but thin like a lightning bolt, came in with a big bag on his back, one hand pulling a huge suitcase, and the other hand holding a cute little baby about five years old. Makoto and I greeted each other with a smile.
After he unloaded his bags, he delicately moved the little cute baby onto the sofa. Makoto is the only single guest in this episode. The kid he brought was handpicked by the director from thousands of ordinary people. His name is Emma. He is good looking, intelligent, and clever. Makoto unzipped his backpack, took out a row of yogurts, walked over to Leela, who was still staring at me, and smiled kindly. Leela, I happen to bring your favorite yogurt. Here you go. He seems to know Leela quite well, which doesn't surprise me. This action of his is exactly the same as in the plot. If I haven't awakened yet, then by now, I would have exploded. Before coming to this show group, I received an anonymous envelope. Inside were pictures, Makoto riding in Willow's car and Willow hugging Makoto. Makoto is also an artist at Willow's company. He is a top-tier actor. There didn't seem to be much private connection between the two. Suddenly receiving such photos, I didn't dare to believe that they could have a romantic relationship. But when I got to this show, seeing how familiar Makoto and Leela are, you should know that Leela is always embarrassed to let people know that she loves yogurt. In the original plot of the book, I didn't look carefully and just believed the content of the anonymous photos. I was convinced that the two of them were really having a secret affair. As a result, I began my dark path of self-destruction as a supporting male. I forcibly ordered Leela not to drink the yogurt he gave her. But the more I stopped her, the more Leela wanted to drink his yogurt. It was quite unpleasant. The viewers also cursed me even more. But at this moment, I woke up. Makoto wanted to interact with Leela. I quickly moved out of the frame and retreated to the side to continue drinking my yogurt and looking at my phone. Everyone in the live chat was praising Makoto. Holy crap, didn't expect the origin god to be so gentle and gentlemanly in private, just now on the way here. I watched the live broadcast and knew that Leela wanted to drink yogurt. As soon as he got here, he immediately comforted little Leela, saying that, if Leela's stepfather wasn't that brain-dead pretty bull, but the gentlemanly god Makoto, the scene would definitely be more harmonious and beautiful, I kind of want to ship him, and Leela's father-daughter relationship. To hope for a mistress to take over in front of the rightful husband who is already registered for marriage. Who is more brain-dead to say such a world-shattering statement? So, it's not Leela's fault, it's not Makoto's fault, it's all my fault. No matter what Leela and Makoto do, the audience always supports them and only blames me. Okay, I love brain. I deserve to die, right? I started playing games in annoyance. I've already stepped aside, but something heavy fell into my arms. Makoto threw a row of yogurts into my arms. I was puzzled. Leela is too shy to pick it up. You hold it for her and give it to her later. Makoto is still smiling, his tone still gentle, but his eyes are clearly a little indifferent. I looked at Leela in confusion. Leela was glaring at me dot dot this little witch. Why is she suddenly playing off the routine? In front of the camera, Makoto winked at me. George, you're an adult. Don't be childish and steal a kid's snack again if you're really craving it. Dare with it and wait until the show is over and then buy it. Makoto is absolutely right to scold him. This man is really greedy, stealing a kid's snacks. Exactly. What is he? A pig. Why bother queuing in that guy all the time? Isn't it fragrant to just appreciate our Makoto god? I was speechless. I picked up the yogurt. Decisively and smoothly stuffed it into Leela's hands. Here, it's all yours. If you run out later, just tell him. I believe he will be very willing to keep buying it for you. Makoto's eyes were bright and he affectionately put his hand on Leela's head. With a loving look on his face. Of course, Leela, as long as you want to drink. Just tell uncle and I will buy all for you. I was speechless. I stood up and walked outside the small building. I can't afford to provoke, but I should be able to hide, right? There was no formal program task today. Mainly some daily routines of the guests to departure and arrival at the destination. For those of us who arrived earlier, the crew arranged meals for the day. Apart from me who did not actively play out the plot, but had a bad day playing games, Leela spent the day with Makoto and Emma. By the time all the guests had arrived, it was evening. The room allocation was drawn up. My group with Leela and Makoto had two adjacent rooms. Each room had two beds. After playing games for most of the day, I continued to play after lying on the bed after washing up. At half past ten, Leela came back to the room. 
I didn't stop and didn't lift my head. Why are you back? According to the plot progress from Makoto's rescue, gave her a row of yogurt. She fell in love with the gentle and gentlemanly main male. She liked being stuck with Makoto all the time, even dreaming of him being her father. And me? This supporting male didn't go to cause destruction today and didn't forcibly pull her back, then she should have forgotten me in the back of her mind and just slept there. Why did she voluntarily run back? After I finished asking, Leela was silent for a while. I stole a glance up at her while I was busy. I just saw the little girl standing in front of my bed, with two little fists clenched, a pretty little face stretched tight, glaring at me with hatred. I was puzzled. What are you doing? Who owes you money? The little one seemed to have a belly full of grievances. When I asked, she angrily started roaring one after another. Why don't you ever come to find me? This is my bed. Why do you want me to sleep in someone else's place? I was speechless. The little girl shouted and asked, her eyes turning red as if she was about to cry. But she tried hard not to let the tears out. You weren't like this before. Emma is so childish, yet I played with her for a whole day. I thought you would come to find me, but look at you. Now your mind is full of your crappy game. Why did you still let me drink a stranger's yogurt? Aren't you afraid that I'll be poisoned and die? I twitch the corner of my mouth. That's not likely. Leela, the teacher has told us not to eat strangers' stuff. You are my stepfather. Yet you didn't help stop me. You dare to say you are my stepfather. Me? Didn't I tell you? The little girl interrupted me. Anyway, before the divorce, you are my stepfather. After shouting, she snorted and turned around and jogged away to take a shower. I was completely stunned. I felt inexplicable. Why did this girl suddenly change her attitude? Didn't she hate the idea of me being her stepfather before? I felt like I might have missed something. I paused the game, opened the phone, and replayed the live show. I just saw that Leela didn't drink a single bottle of the row of yogurt that Makoto gave her all day. She played dolls and games with Emma, but it was obvious that she was always distracted. Makoto tried hard to talk to her, but she ignored him and she didn't touch the food and drink she was offered. Just before she came back, she returned all the yogurt and snacks to Makoto. Politely declined. Thank you for your kindness, but our teacher said, children shouldn't eat strangers' things indiscriminately. Makoto's face froze on the spot, and it took several seconds to recover his usual gentleness. Leela, your mother and I are very good friends, not strangers. Leela instantly turned into a little adult, calmly saying, my mother said that married women can't be very good friends with single men anymore. You and my mother might have been very good friends before, but she's married now, so you can't be her very good friend anymore. You can only be ordinary friends. Otherwise, my stepfather would be unhappy. And if my stepfather is unhappy, my mother will beat me. Thank you once again for taking care of me today. Good night, I'm going back to my room. Leela also politely bowed to Makoto, probably because Makoto's face was so unsightly at the time that the cameraman couldn't help but turn the camera away, which meant I couldn't enjoy his wonderful facial expression. But surprisingly, Leela's operation changed the direction of the comment section. What an upright baby, so good. Cross. Having listened to Leela's words, I realized that I'd been drinking milk tea for 10 years in vain. I'm even worse than a child. I nearly fell for the handsome homewrecker. Although I've never met her and I don't even know who Leela's mother is, I've fallen in love with this woman which is outrageous, not to mention them. I, too, was shocked by this unseen side of Leela from the video, but I'm still confused. Isn't Leela supposed to be at odds with me at every turn, only getting along well with Makoto, just like a father and daughter, but suddenly, why the change? Could it be because I didn't act destructively as a bad guy? Isn't the rebellious teenage stage supposed to take effect in the teens? How come it also takes effect at 7? Just because I didn't stop her, but fully supported her to find Makoto. So she rebelled and wanted to stick to me. It seems that with this flapping of the butterfly effect swings, the direction of the following plot will also change. After Leela finished washing, she changed into a set of beige pure cotton pajamas. The little girl looks refreshed, but her face is not very good looking, her tender little face is all puffed up. While walking to the bed, she looked at me with an expression like a Tsunder princess who seemed to say, you know you're wrong, ha. Huh? Even if you apologize, I won't forgive you. 
I couldn't help but laugh and cry. She got into bed, turned her back to me, and covered her head with a blanket. I sigh, got up, and took out a limited edition doll from my bag. I went over and gently lifted the corner of the blanket on her head. Don't you always play with this before you go to bed? Here, I brought it for you. Leela snorted, ignored me for a few seconds, but still grabbed the doll to play. I sat down by her bed. You saw it before. Your mother has always been quite cold to me. Even if we got married, it was all my initiative. I'm tired now. I don't want to chase after her anymore. I just want to work well and earn money well. Even if your mother and I part ways in the future, I'm not your stepfather anymore. If you don't hate me, Leela, who was crackling with the doll, interrupted me urgently. When did I say I hate you? The young girl's ears and face started to turn red. I couldn't help but laugh. All right, if you don't hate me, let's be friends. I lightly patted the blanket on her. Let's just say that's settled, friend, you can play. If you're tired, you can sleep, and I'll go play some games. Leela stared at me in a daze. I returned to the bed, lay down, and opened the phone. God's friend laughing emoji. Twenty years later, when little Leela gets married, she introduces to everyone the man with gray hair down the stage, saying that this is my childhood friend laughing emoji. Although Leela looks 70% bewildered, 80% silly, and 100% pity, I can't help laughing. Ha ha ha, tilde tilde. I was speechless, I went to block the camera. Although it's a live broadcast, it is allowed to block the camera at night. Ah. Don't block it. Want to see? Want to see? Please. Don't block. Want to stay up all night to watch the cute little girl and the silly man. Ah. Uh. I was speechless. Looking at the increasing number of viewers in my live broadcast room, I couldn't understand. What do all these people mean by not going to guard their favorite idol Makoto, but running here to stay up late in a blacklist 18 line live stream like mine? And who is the silly man they're talking about? Me? No appreciation. I'm a clear-headed smart man, surprisingly, the content in the comment section has been much more normal since Leela came back. I was playing games, and Leela had made two sets of clothes for the doll. After changing them, she was going to sleep, she asked me. Aren't you going to sleep yet? I didn't stop my hands, after this round. Unable to resist, I started the next round after finishing one. One round after another and countless more to come. To avoid disturbing her, I covered my head with a quilt. That the phone screen would be covered with hot air and become unclear after a while. So, I poked a hole on the edge of the quilt to ventilate, and continued to play. Then, a small hand lifted a corner of the quilt on my head. Leela looked at me gloomily. It's 12 o'clock. Why are you still playing? I was at a critical moment in the game, so there was no way I was going to sleep. I deceived her. I will sleep after one more round. Leela, you said the same thing an hour ago. Me, buddy, can you not bother me when you were playing with your doll this morning and asked me not to disturb you? Did I? We need to be respectful. Please don't disturb me now. Okay. Go to sleep. Leela looked at me speechlessly. Leela, but I didn't stay up late to play with dolls. I was speechless. This lass, she had quite a point. Before I had woken up, Leela came to wake me up again. Get up to make breakfast. The show crew isn't providing meals today. They only provide ingredients we have to cook for ourselves. Give me a few more minutes. I covered my head with the quilt. After playing games and pondering my convoluted and miserable supporting role life last night, I slept too late and couldn't get up. I don't know how long it had been when I was woken up again by Leela. If you don't start cooking now, all the ingredients will be taken by other teams. Then I won't eat. Go and scrounge some from other teams. Leela was speechless again. Leela left, and the world was quiet. But before I could enjoy the peace and fall back asleep, she was there again. Get up. I've made breakfast. You must come man eat it all. I was speechless. What a persistent little girl. Playing with my phone. I headed to the dining room. The sight of the fully loaded table featuring a fusion of eastern and western breakfast almost blinded me. Especially in front of Makoto and Emma, freshly wrapped buns, hand-rolled noodles, freshly baked egg tarts, a peeled pomelo showing only the fruit pulp, a fruit plate cut and arranged like an art piece. Nearby, the other parents had also made breakfast for their children. A wealthy mom asked Makoto, in surprise, 
Makoto, you're a boy and yet you can make so much delicious food. Makoto's modest reply while smiling was, I've been doing it since I was a child, it's a habit. There was a torrent of praise for him both live and in the barrage of comments. One father laughed, then Makoto, you must have woken up very early today. I only made sandwiches and fruit and veggie salads, that alone took me an hour. I got up at half past six and almost didn't make it, I'm not used to it, haha. Ha. Makoto calmly said, I got up at four in the morning. I love children and want to give them the best of everything. And I also love cooking. All these are Zihan's favorite foods and good for the child's health too. In future, when I have a child, I will often cook like this. I love Makoto, oh. I love Makoto so much. I wish I had a virtuous husband who can cook like him. His children are so blessed. I also want to be his child. But getting up at dawn to make breakfast, isn't that hard? I love Makoto. Sacrificing a bit of sleep for the person you love is nothing, right? Nothing. Then why don't you say you want to be a parent like him, instead of wanting to be his child? Waking up this early every day for a breakfast, I can't handle it, it's too terrifying, I'm daily afraid of marriage and children. Plus one, why does love have to mean sacrificing oneself? If this is the only form love takes, forget it, I'd rather be single till the world's end. Leela made toast and heated up some milk, I disregarded the parents' conversation about waking up early to make breakfast, sat down at the table, and quickly accomplished the you must finish your breakfast task Leela gave me early in the morning. Suddenly, I think having a friend like George, who goes with the flow while raising his kid, is quite appealing. I'm kinda becoming a fan of him, I also love his relationship with the child, caring when needed, playing together when needed, it's relaxed and joyful, quite nice. Plus one, because, like him, I'm also lazy, ha ha ha. I was speechless, listen, thank you. Because of Leela's words yesterday, Makoto was a bit embarrassed. He barely went to be near Leela today, but he still made Emma go play with Leela and invited Leela to have the breakfast he made, both of which Leela politely refused. This is a slow live broadcast, quite a few are from multifamilies. The director dares not make everyone too tired, the tasks arranged are just eat, drink, and play. In the morning, there weren't even such tasks, and everyone freely did their own things, actually. Looking at the parents getting up in the early morning, the director, being thoughtful and sycophantic, wanted to give the guests a bit of rest. But as soon as breakfast was over, the parents, led by Makoto, plunged into the kitchen again, dizzy preparing lunch for the kids. Soon, I was as busy as everyone else. I was busy going to catch up on some ZZZs. Leela stopped me. Being a competitive kid, aren't we going to cook lunch? I'll have a nap and then go cook. Leela didn't believe me. Really, I held up three fingers and swore. Trust me, friend. I swear on my ex-girlfriend's future marriage, I'll definitely get up to cook lunch in one hour. Leela frowned. Before my mom, you had other girlfriends. I didn't answer, dodged her, and bolted towards my room. Kid, you got fooled. I bet three packs of spicy snacks that his so-called ex-girlfriend is definitely Leela's mom. You win. George had previously stated in a show that he's only had one girlfriend, including his first love, who is his wife. In other words, Leela's mom, puha ha ha ha, tilde tilde tilde. He <laughs> he, there are still people who understand me. And then, for lunch, Leela also made a simple clear noodle soup. And after calling for me one to three for times, she finally hauled me up to eat. While eating the noodles, I couldn't even bear to look at Leela. All I heard was her grumbling. You have the nerve to divorce my mom. You're so lazy. No one would take care of you. And you'd starve to death at home. I had no words. That definitely, surely, absolutely won't happen. When I'm not slacking off, I can be quite diligent. Okay. And besides... Didn't I make breakfast early every morning for her and her mother for the past half year? But now, unable to defend myself, I dared not argue with her. I just kept my head down and continued eating. Goodness, this kid has to work so hard to look after this clueless old father of hers. Man, the above comment is so TM fitting. Ha ha ha. Just got smacked by my dad, returned to my room and saw this live broadcast, couldn't help but laugh. My dad took it as me being defiant, walked in with a feather duster and smacked me again. My dad's even worse, 
he beat me up, kicking and punching, cursing me for going crazy, saying, I forgot to hang out the clothes to dry because I was watching a lazy man. Now the clothes are smelly and need to be washed again. The person above, you should let your dad join this live broadcast too. Let him learn from this lazy father. Look at how capable his kid is, much more dependable and diligent than you. Ha ha ha, tilde tilde. I was speechless, they're all calling me lazy. When I was taking care of Leela and her mother, I was also quite diligent. If not for certain circumstances, I would have liked to take good care of them forever, but what isn't yours can't be forced. The noodle soup looks plain, but the taste isn't bad, because Leela cooked the noodles, a fresh chicken soup, another father made. As a person, Willow is not only strict with his work but also particularly strict with his child. Not just in studies, but also in hobbies, nothing can be slacked off, even though in daily life, there's always someone to attend to everything. Yet he has taught her to be always prepared for the worst. Let her learn to take care of herself, to be independent, she cannot rely too much on others. I heard that Leela, when she was three years old, was not as tall as the stove, but was ordered by her mother to learn to cook in the kitchen. Eating delicious noodles, I felt for the first time, actually having a daughter like this is not bad. The idea just came up. Then I gave myself a fright. I promised to stay away from them. I must not waver because of a breakfast, a lunch. George, hold on. You can do it. The director posted a task on his phone in the evening. Go to a special snack street in this city to punch the clock. However, after this task, Makoto, who was originally just cold to me, wanted to kill me with his eyes. Because halfway through the task, my audience, which had grown only a few tens of thousands less than him, unexpectedly surpassed him. By the end of the task, my lev broadcast room had doubled his audience. In fact, I'm quite confused. He is a first-line actor. Just the number of fans can crush me in all aspects. This variety show, he also did a lot of publicity. From the start of the show, many fans stayed in his live broadcast room. According to this, Leela and I, no matter how explosive, should not surpass him, but the reality is so cruel. We surpassed, haha tilde tilde tilde. I carefully think back and can remember if Leela and I did anything I catching during the task. I still remember that after receiving the task, I thought of having eaten Lilo's meals twice. So before going to the snack street, I agreed to let Lila order anything to eat, my treat. Then, when we got to the snack street, the little girl had chose paralysis. I'm much stronger than her. I don't have this syndrome at all. Because only children make choices, adults of course want everything. So, I started to clear the streets with Lila, adhering to the truth want to eat everything, but can't explode the stomach, we both agreed to buy everything, and split it in half. We really just strolled around the street, ate some snacks, and now I really treat her as a friend. I bought a sausage, thoughtfully forked a small piece and ate it. It was a bit spicy, so I gave the rest to Leela, patted her on the shoulder and said, friend, this is delicious, it's all for you. I bought the most expensive ice queen drink, paying extra for another empty cup, poured out a sip to taste, it was delicious, I accidentally drank it all. Then I saw Leela's deflated face, I felt ashamed, I felt embarrassed, so I hurried to buy her another cup. But she said, she couldn't finish it, so I poured a little for her, and the rest I drank again. Except for the milk tea this time, I had a bit more, the rest I only took a sip, the rest I gave to the child to eat. I swear this time, I didn't steal her food. Actually, because I had to milk teas in a row, I was to full and couldn't steal from the child. Goose 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 goose. Tilda tilda tilda. So, it is impossible for us to do such shameless behavior as attracting the audience by selling Leela's sympathy. However, the bullet screen in our live broadcast room was indeed much busier than before. He ha ha ha. I laughed to death. George is the boy I've seen who can eat the most snacks. This silly guy. Everything he likes has been shown off by him. And everything that doesn't taste good is given to the girl. That's so true. Whenever I talk about fearing weight gain, my boyfriend acts so adorably silly. Ha ha. Tilda. In the midst of a harmonious discussion, ah, uh, a sound of ridicule, the number of viewers in our livestream room is skyrocketing by the second. That. Incredible. The next day, MY Variety Show Live Broadcast Room was almost blocked for regulation violations. Someone in my comment area is brushing comments, 
saying I'm secretly buying fans. But before I could react, it had returned to normal. Those comments accusing me of buying fans disappeared without a trace. There's a clamor coming from the next room. I was just about to leave my room when I heard the director cursing at Bakoto, telling him not to make a fuss, otherwise. Let alone this show, even his own star journey would be ruined. Makoto is begging for mercy, also promising that he will never dare again, even asking the director to plead with some bigwig to forgive this one time of his stupid behavior. I was shocked. Previously, the director treated Makoto like a god. In the blink of an eye, he dares to curse at him. This growth rate, it's admirable. When the director came out, it didn't take long for Makoto to come out as well. He seemed like a completely different person. From wanting to knife me last night, he's much more peaceful and friendly now. When I make eye contact with him again, his gaze is as tranquil as still water. He has an air of having seen through the world and ready to attain Buddhahu. I couldn't help but want to run to the director and give him a thumb up in person. I said with emotion to Leela, our show's director, he's awesome, but Leela, contrary to her usual pretentious and aloof little queen style, rolled her eyes widely. Who is the director? It's clearly me. Never mind, you say the director is awesome, then he is awesome, as long as you are happy. I was speechless. This little girl, who does she think she's fooling? It's impolite, the task for the last day was to climb a mountain. The scenery along the way was superb. Leela Ann, I took a lot of photos. Miss Leela's photography skills have greatly improved. I believe that when she comes of age in the future, she will definitely not screw up such important matters as taking photos when we reach the top of the mount. It was time for the final lyrical phase. That is, the tear-jerking section that is the highlight of the program in the legend. The hotel garden on the top of the mountain was decorated by the program group like a wedding scene. Romantic and beautiful, in order to increase the effect, the screen on one side of the stage also opened up the bullet comments of the netizens. The director was determined to let the netizens cry with us. Later on, each team will also have new mysterious guests join. Basically, those who have fathers will bring out their fathers, and those who have mothers will bring out their mothers. Those without fathers or mothers busy will bring out relatives and friends. I invited Maria, Willow's special assistant. Let her accompany Leela and me in this final episode as a friend. Although I and Willow are husband and wife, to be honest, I have met this CEO's special assistant much more times than I have met Willow. And I still have important things to ask Maria. I need to get Willow's schedule for the next few days from her, so I can block her and talk about divorce issues. She's too busy. Now it's my team's turn to perform the tear-jerking speech in the middle of the red carpet. Maria hasn't come yet, but she has already sent me a message that she will be here soon. So, Leela and I started first. The sentimental BGM started. We faced each other. And with a hard squeeze, I barely managed to redden my eyes a bit. But in the barrage, the audience, who were crying sentimentally just a while ago, in this short span of time, the art style has suddenly changed. The scene is tear-jerking, the background music is also tear-jerking, but why can't I help but laugh when I see this big fool? George. Ha ha. Hold back, you can't laugh at this scene. Upstairs. You are killing me. I'm happy to help. I'll laugh for you. Ha 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 Tilda. The tears I had barely managed to squeeze out were gone. Approximately Tilda. All I could do was to hold back my laughter. Even my lips were trembling. And I shortened the long sentimental text I had prepared in advance. Leela, after the show ends, will you still want me as your friend? Leela looked at me. Silent, I raised my hand and patted her little shoulder. Whether you want it or not. In any case, I have decided to make friends with you. By the way, last time you promised to treat me to the most expensive meal on the snack street, when can you fulfill it? Can you give a more accurate time, next week, or next month? Leela despised my actions that ruined the atmosphere. I felt a little wronged. Don't I want to either? It's all those goods in the bullet screen. What the hell are they talking about? If it doesn't end soon, I'm going to get internal injuries from holding my breath. Leela took a deep breath, bowed her head with a sense of ceremony for a while, then raised her head, her little face serious. Can you not divorce my mother? No matter what chaos is happening in the comment section, she just said this one sentence and I couldn't laugh anymore. She made me feel a bit heartbroken. Leela, I want you to be my dad. And I like you being my dad. I'm serious. If you're divorcing mom because of me, then I'll change. I won't say you're annoying anymore. 
and I won't lose my temper at you. I'll do as I say. I couldn't help but soften my tone. It's not because of you. You're a good kid, the best in the world. Even if anyone else were your dad, they would still like you and be proud to be your dad, Lee La. Then, are you afraid that I will bully your and mom's new baby in the future? I can explain. I'm not my mom's biological child. She only had you as a boyfriend and only proposed to you. She never had children. My mom is her sister. She is my aunt. I was stunned because this novel is too long. Although I have awakened, I have forgotten some details. If Leela hadn't mentioned it, I wouldn't have remembered that Leela was the daughter of Willow's sister who died of illness many years ago. Since Willow's sister had a child out of wedlock and the father was unknown. For the sake of the child, Willow adopted her under her own name, but this couldn't make me continue to be with Willow. Willow won't love me, I can't force it. In this way, she would also become unhappy. Leela continued excitedly. I will never bully your baby. I will even help you take care of them. I will love them dearly. I put my hand on Leela's shoulder and sincerely said, The divorce is a matter between your mother and me. It's because of the two of us. And has nothing to do with anyone else. But don't worry. Even if I divorce her, I will visit you whenever I have time. And play with you. Didn't I say it? I want to be your good friend for a lifetime. Leela looked disappointed and lowered her head again. After a while, she lifted her head again. Okay, I was selfish. My mom is indeed very harsh on her husband and never spends time with us. She's like a machine. Only knowing how to work, if you want to divorce, then do it. If you can't find someone you like in the future, then wait for me. When I grow up, I will marry you. Before she could finish her sentence, a loud nose drowned out other sounds. Tam, am I seeing this right? Is that a helicopter? I can't believe I'm seeing a real-life tycoon who arrives at a show in a helicopter. Cameraman. Quick, zoom in on her face. Let me see which tycoon is this awesome. Two women came out of the helicopter. It was Willow and Mario. Willow, who was walking in front, seemed to have rushed from work. She was wearing a white silk shirt, a custom-fitted waistcoat, tall and slender, looking very cool. When she entered, the comment section exploded. Who is this? Such a handsome woman. Holy shit, she's too handsome, I'm lost for words. Indeed, once a woman becomes handsome, men are out of the picture. One minute, I want all the information about this woman. Leela and I were still stunned. Willow is always busy and on her feet. How could she come to a variety show? If it weren't for the deafening sound of the helicopter, Leela and I wouldn't believe our own eyes. Leela is calmer than me. She first went to greet Willow. Mom, it's Leela's mom. Oh my god. George, you big fool, are you really going to divorce? If you divorce, let me be the one. I can too. I can too. Before Leela could finish her words, she was directly ignored by Willow. Leela was speechless. Then, we both saw that on the screen of Willow's phone, the show we were recording was played. In other words, she saw everything about my intention to divorce, and Leela's final agreement to my divorce, and her promise to me to undermine her mother. Leela and I looked at each other silently. We each lit a candle for each other in our hearts. Even though Willow only looks at financial data and never watches entertainment shows. Leela rushed to Willow again, her face fearless. Mom, you're not allowed to be mean to George. I also ran over and pulled Leela behind me. I'm the one who wants to divorce. It has nothing to do with Leela. We can talk about it between us. Willow's beautiful eyes were dark. Looking at me, she asked softly. What do you think? Why did I marry you? I was choked. And to tell the truth, I really don't know why she agreed to marry me. All I remember is that I pursued her for a long, long time. Every day I tried every means just to see her. I sent her delicious food. And whenever there was something good, I would send her a share. Every holiday I would send her a red envelope with 520. Although, she never accepted any. Just a month ago, I got drunk, stopped her car, crawled into her car proposed to her. I vaguely remember, I seemed to cry like a fool, saying I love her to death, I wet her collar with my tears. When I woke up, I was already married to her. We even held a simple wedding banquet on the same day. Then, she went on a business trip. She was on a business trip until this moment, when I saw her again. I was confused. Yeah, you've always been cold to me. Why would you agree to marry me? Because it's you. Willow's eyes were firm. That's why I agree. Me. Why? 
Isn't she supposed to fall deeply in love with the male lead? Willow took another step towards me. The faint orchid fragrance on her enveloped me. What do you think? Do you think you could get my WeChat without my consent? Could you enter my company to deliver meals and gifts to me? Could you stop my car? Could you crawl into my car? Could you have the chance to tell me you want to marry me? This is the first time she has said so much to me. The female tycoon's plot has succeeded. Good for her. But doesn't she have a mouth? Why didn't she just say she liked him? What a pity. But she's beautiful, cool, and rich. What else does she need? Willow took another step. Almost pressing into my arms, I panicked and took a step back. So according to her, she actually liked me. That's why she let me struggle. And in the end, we got married. What about the male late? What about Makoto? Could it be that after I started suspecting her relationship with Makoto, I darkened myself and ruined my own marriage? And it's also true that she's always been cold to me. Plus, the photos of Makoto in her car, hugging her, prove that she's not as clean as she says she is. I calmed down again. Anyway, I want a divorce. You can just assume that I don't like you anymore. Let's part on good terms. I've already planned. From now on, I want to work hard, earn money. What marriage? What wife and daughter? Wife and daughter will only slow down my money-making speed. Willow stared at me hard. There seemed to be a hint of hurt in her eyes, but she was always good at controlling her emotions. She also calmed down. If you want a divorce, I respect you. Before we change the certificate, I have a request. You say, I know, it's my fault. That's why you're disappointed and want to leave. I just ask you to give me another year. I will try to be a completely new, qualified wife. I've been busy for a month after the wedding, just to free up all my time to spend a good honeymoon with you. I was dissatisfied. A year. I don't want. Then. Half a year. I don't want. Willow paused Tan continued to negotiate with me in a good temper. Okay. One month. Just give me one month. If by then you still insist on divorcing, I will. Agree. One month is also very long. Give me a month. And I'll give you a billion when we divorce. Before I woke up to reality, I begged her to sign a prenuptial agreement with our lawyer to show that I wasn't after her money. If I divorced her, she wouldn't have to give me a penny of her property. So, I didn't expect her to give me any money if we divorced. Now she's saying a billion, and my heart is moved. It's only a month, and it's a billion. It seems like a good deal. Does the plot matter anymore? Her tone became low. Think about it. Just a month. Shall I have our lawyer draft the contract now? And then. Then, I shamelessly agreed. Because, damn it, she was giving too much. Can anyone refuse that? No way. Okay. I admit, I'm just a shallow little white face living off Willow. As soon as we got home, Willow transferred a billion to my account and also wanted to transfer the company's shares to me, but I found it troublesome and didn't sign. Month after month, Willow kept transferring money to me. So, in the end, we never got divorced. One day, I threw those photos of Makoto in front of her. Willow was very straightforward pinching my ear and laughing at me. It's funny that you brag about being a Photoshop master in front of Leel every day. Can't you tell that this is a composite picture? And to tell the truth, upon closer inspection, it really was. So if it weren't for my past life's mistakes, there wouldn't be so many problems, right? Then, after that parenting variety show ended, Makoto was terminated by the company and had no more intersections with Willow. Makoto was originally the male lead, but because I made different choices and didn't continue with the plot after darkening and ruining everything. Unexpectedly, he, as a male lead, couldn't keep his cool and actually couldn't control himself to go against me, slandering that I manipulated the votes by buying fans. But he didn't expect that he would be exposed by Willow, and in the end, he couldn't win against me. The second year, I accidentally got Willow pregnant. I originally wanted to wait for her for another two years before making plans. I seriously suspect that it was Willow's doing, but I have no evidence. After she got pregnant, she also gave me a luxury cruise as a gift, so I didn't argue with her. Anyway, there was someone who had promised in front of thousands of audiences to help take care of the baby. So I willingly started my dog licking career with the female tycoon again. I started managing the company for Willow, taking care of her three meals a day, caring for her, and Willow, as she promised, treated me better and better. I was happy and forgot about the divorce. The next year, my sister Anna was born. As soon as Leela had a holiday, the scene in our house was like this. Leela, 
Your sister is hungry. Go make some milk powder. Leela, your sister is crying. Go coax her. Leela, your sister has pooped. Change her diaper. Then, Leela would grumble and go busy. Why did she poop again? Didn't she just poop? Dad, the color of Aru's poop is a bit dark this time. Is she getting a heat stroke? Should we add some honeysuckle due to her milk powder? After my sister was born, this once aloof little princess has become a little expert in taking care of her sister. Oh, she also has a big contrast change, that is, once as aloof as her mother like a little queen. Now she is a chatterbox. Ha 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 tilde tilde tilde.